Welcome back to Stoked About Science. We're here today doing uh, a water rocket launch, or at least my version of one. I'm going to be using uh, this gray uh, PVC pipe. It's a half inch long. Um, this is 24 inches long, both of these pieces. But they come in different lengths. I just chose to get the two foot ones. They're also threaded. And so instead of gluing them together with pipe cement, I'm going to be just using uh, uh, thread seal tape, uh, which you can get pretty cheaply uh, at Home Depot or Lowe's or uh, a hardware store. I also need a threaded elbow, 90 degrees here, threaded end cap, and uh, this is then a piece of one and a half inch uh, PVC pipe um, that I just needed like a two inch piece off of. Screws, I've got a clamp, I've got some D straps or sometimes called conduit clamps, uh, eight zip ties, uh, some duct tape, and then some tools here as well, like a couple of pieces of uh, two by four scraps that I had laying around that I'll help uh, to make the base out of. Uh, so I'm going to get started here um, by first taking the pipe um, here and I've measured around 10 inches or so, 9, 10 inches, something like that and we're going to create a bulge in this. Now this isn't my idea, a lot of people have already done this and there's tons of plans for it already um, but this is just my version of, of how to do this. So I'm going to take my uh, pipe here and roll it over the candle and once that pipe starts to get soft then I can take the ends and push them together and create the bulge that I need. Um, then once I've got the bulge I need, I let it cool a little bit and then I wipe off uh, the smudge and you can see that the two liter bottle now fits snug as it pushes up against the, bud, uh, the bulge and I just need something to clamp it down which I'll do with the zip ties here. So I'm going to cut the zip ties about four and a half or five inches long and make a roll of uh, a loop of duct tape here and place the uh, zip ties around that loop, eight of them, so they're equally spaced with their little knobby part facing inward toward the pipe so it'll hook over the ledge of the two liter water bottle and hold it in place. And once I've got those uh, equally spaced then I take another roll of duct tape here, a piece, and uh, put it on the outside to hold them in place. Then um, I'm going to make sure it, I put the 2 liter bottle and the uh, clasp exactly where it needs to be to hold it tight against the bulge and I'm going to screw this down tight. Now you might have to tweak this a little bit a few times till it gets into be, to be in the right place so you have a good seal right where you want it. Next you'll grab a drill bit that's a little smaller than your tire valve stem and drill out your end cap and then you'll be pulling the valve stem through and you can use a wrench with a rag to get that through. You want to make sure that the little rubber part comes out and is right in the groove. Then take your end cap and twist it on, tighten it up a little bit. Don't go too far because it will push the stem out. Um, and then you'll be using the uh, pipe tape on your ends and put on your elbow and then put your other uh, piece on the other end of the elbow. Then you'll be using a wrench to tighten it down uh, as well. Uh, clamp the whole thing down now on your 2x4 scraps uh, using the conduit clamps or the D-straps. Screw that down, kind of tighten it once it's in place. Put a stapler or an eyelet or something that you can thread the string through and you are good to go. Alright, so we're going to give this a try. I've got a bike pump here with a gauge on it and uh, you need some kind of gauge because you need a sense of how much pressure you're putting into it. So I'm going to be um, going up to about 60 psi. I don't go over that because um, things can get a little bit dangerous if you get too much pressure and the bottle can blow up or those sorts of things. So I tilt this down a little bit and get it like that. All right, here's the maiden voyage. So we get first launch. I probably won't go up to 60 just to make sure everything's working okay. Okay, I can see that we're leaking at the bottom, which means I'm going to need to tighten up that pipe, it looks like. But let's just give it a shot. That's almost 40 PSI. Here we go. Boom, lift off. Okay, now let's make some adjustments. Uh, it was leaking, so we need to pull down the clamp and the zip ties just a little bit so that it forces the bottle down farther onto the bulge. And then we'll see how that does. So it's going to take a little bit of tweaking. Let's tighten the screws down here. Uh, twisted the main pipe down so it didn't leak and let's pump some more in here. 
There we go, good launch. Boom, awesome. Okay, so just a word about safety. Uh, PVC pipe is easy to use, especially my design where I'm only using the threaded pipe and the pipe tape. Uh, problem though is, even though the PVC pipe is rated for a high pressure, and I'm not gonna get that close to the high pressure, it can shatter. Uh, particularly if it's cold or if it's been weakened in the sun and gotten old and brittle, uh, or if it gets bumped or something under pressure. So you have to be very careful um, that it doesn't uh, shatter on you. And so I wouldn't you know, use this for a ton of years and let it get old or anything, but uh, if you're careful and you have adult supervision, uh, they can be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.